Another question that I've been getting a lot, pretty much over and over and over and over in the last couple of years is of course the question, where is the best place to live in Germany? And I always answer this recently with, ah, uh, you know, it really depends on you, what you like, what you expect of a city, of a city, of a place. And this is still true. But today we want to try to, or I want to try to answer this a little bit more detailed. What should I do? Ah, I advise. As best as I can, it's still, a matter of fact, you have to look into each city yourself and see what you like best and if you like that city at all. And if you don't, well, then don't go there. For example, let's start with the popular ones like Berlin. Berlin has, of course, a lot of history, a lot of architecture that you can feed off if you're an architectural lover. You can walk around pretty much anywhere in the inner city and see something amazing. They have landmarks like the Brandenburg Gate, or they have big open spaces like the Alexanderplatz with lots of tourists. They have cool things like the Mauerpark Flea Market, I think it was called like a massive flea market. So in Berlin, if you walk around, you'll see cool stuff. They even have a lot of, um, not rivers, but like canals. Um, similar, I guess, to Venice. Um, and I even have a friend who celebrated a birthday party there, not their own. I don't think they were invited to a friend's birthday party at the, one of these canals or on one of these canals. And they rented a boat and they went, went on one of these canals and there was a bar on it and alcohol and they it, it was great so that exists berlin is pretty much the city of opportunities if you want to do something specific or out of the ordinary chances are that berlin will support that urge berlin is also the city of nightlife uh, they have clubs like Berghain, of course, this infamous techno club where no one gets in. Or they don't let people in that don't look like they would have a good time inside. Because it can be very intense uh, inside. I think I heard people having intercourse on the dance floor or um, taking drugs and stuff like that everywhere. And it's just very, I don't know why such a club is still allowed to be open, to be honest, when I think about it. But yeah, that's probably also why they don't let people in that look like they would complain maybe to someone uh, after being let in, just because they wanted to see what it's inside. They might be shocked, right? But anyway, Berlin is, I guess, a city that could shock you in some areas, just like any other big city could. <clears throat> also has a lot of opportunities. Definitely less conservative than some other cities' life in Berlin will be more interesting than in other places because there's lots more to do for young people, especially. I know a lot of people as well, though, that say, well, no, Berlin is just too much for me. It's just too noisy, too open, even because it doesn't feel like one unit. It feels like many different places connected to each other that's what i heard of someone or that's what someone said to me once because it is quite large and um, if you're not into that well too bad i suppose also berlin has a good um, subway and and s-bahn system like a uh, a tram system in comparison to other cities i would say um, Oops, sorry, I just have to let this person overtake before I do. And then there's another one coming. Oh, I'm too slow. My car's too old. Anyway, yeah, and in comparison to, for example, the next city that I wanted to talk about, Munich, um, Berlin is, is just not boring, but people say Berlin is boring in comparison. I'm not 100% sure if I agree because there is a lot of stuff that you can do in Munich as well, of course, but it's definitely more conservative. Um, people might not be as open as they are in Berlin. I personally have not experienced this. Might be true though. Um, for that, I would have to live in Munich to be really 100% sure. I have never lived in Munich. I probably will never live in Munich because it's also really expensive. I mean, Berlin is getting more and more expensive too. Um, you can't say Berlin is the 
cheapest city to go to. Back in the day, young people went there because it was cheap. Even landlords these days say, oh, Berlin was so much cheaper, like even 10 years ago or maybe even five years ago, but now it just changed because everyone wants to go there. And they have these mass viewings of uh, apartments and they have a lot of scams, like really shady places that still charge a lot of money, similar to London, I guess. Um, and in Munich, I'm not saying that doesn't happen, uh, shady places, but stuff in general always has been more expensive. For example, a friend of mine rents an apartment for about 500 euros. I don't actually know how big it is. It has like a big living room. It has a, a small kitchen, like a small bathroom. A normal sized bedroom, I would say, maybe about 15 square meters or something. And then like an office area. Um, and that's about it. And he pays about, like I said, 500 bucks in Bremen. And in Munich, you would probably pay over 1,000 euros just for that. And so if you don't have the money, Munich is pretty much impossible to live in. You need to have a really good job and not everyone will be able to get a really good job in Munich because qualifications are needed just like anywhere else. So if you just expect to be working as, I don't know, a salesperson, a clothes shop or something like that, life might be a bit hard, not impossible probably, but you will have to make a lot of sacrifices, I would assume. For example, my own story about moving to Munich, I planned on doing that one time in my life, or at one time in my life, when I applied for, um, not an apprenticeship, but something similar at like a, um, a gaming magazine slash YouTube channel kind of thing and like a trainee uh, position basically and they were only willing to pay me about 300 euros for a 40 hour uh, job basically a full-time job 300 euros i can't even pay half of my rent in munich from that money and uh, i'm not even like anything else like living costs and just whatever you want to do is not included in that either like I can't pay that from 300 euros so that's ridiculous um, so that's the only experience I have um, when it comes to wanting to live in Munich I hear a lot of times that people who grew up there maybe have parents that are kind of wealthy or that just own a house there because then you don't have to pay, pay rent of course they can live in Munich because they don't have to worry about these high rent costs um, still about the living cost, but that is, I think, manageable if you have a place there where you can stay. And Munich, just like Berlin, has a lot of pretty architecture, this old German-looking pre-war style that hasn't been bombed away. Um, you know, the, the, the remains of, of the city that hasn't bombed away. Sometimes I wonder what all of Germany, because I'm not 100% sure if it did at one point, look like parts, like the old parts of cities. Like, would all of Germany look like that? So that would be amazing. Uh, because no one builds like that these days anymore. Or if you do, it just costs a shitload of money. And I doubt that many people would actually be willing to pay that much just to have a house look like that. I don't know. I mean, if I had the money, probably, because I think it looks super pretty, super cool. It would stand out quite a bit if you build that anywhere else than in these parts of those cities because in the countryside as you can see here all these houses are pretty bland looking like a, they're not ugly by any means but they're also not very pretty they're just normal looking kind of you know bland <laughs> and uh, yeah you will get that kind of building style of course in munich as well uh, the town hall is often a building that looks very pretty just as in other cities like Hamburg for example town hall is it looks amazing has even like a Ratskeller underneath means like a town hall cellar I suppose or a council cellar actually is the correct translation here I believe uh, which looks kind of like catacombs with round ceilings and stuff like that um, I'm not sure if <clears throat> the ceilings were round in Hamburg <coughs> excuse me but sometimes 
uh, they are. It looks like a dungeon, kind of a pretty dungeon with a very, very uh, old style. I don't know how to describe it any better in English, but very medieval looking. I would say that's the best way to describe it. And I really enjoy that. It's really nice. And uh, of course, Munich has that. Munich has a shitload of parks. Sorry for the language here. The same as Berlin, actually. And um, just walking through Munich, if you don't want to be in a, what's it called? Mm, if you don't feel comfortable being around urban areas all the time or living in urban areas, there are, of course, pretty uh, green spaces plenty of them. Berlin has a lot of um, forest. Sorry, the, the truck over there is blocking the entire road. Let's see if I can get through there. Interesting. <laughs> what are they doing there? I think they're delivering something like building materials of sorts. Like sand. I think they're delivering sand, actually. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, definitely a lot of parks in Munich and uh, I mean, the Alps are not too far away, so it's really beautiful. Um, just living costs might be too high for a normal person, I don't know, or an average earner, I suppose, is the better way to say it. Just want you to know this, um, and I'm also, and it's also important, I mean, to speak about that Berlin is not as cheap as you might expect it to be anymore. For that, we have cities like Leipzig. Leipzig is more like a former Berlin or the, like the, in the way that Berlin was once cheaper um, more opportunities for finding an apartment and stuff like that I wouldn't say job opportunity job opportunities per se because I heard that Leipzig well if you go there that you will have quite a hard time to find a job like I suppose because it's in the east of Germany there's still more unemployment than in the west of Germany so expect that to be well not unemployed but to have a harder time finding a job maybe a specific kind of job it might be easier for some categories for some job categories than for others but just keep that in mind also um, Leipzig felt a little bit empty sometimes in comparison to Berlin for example definitely in comparison to Berlin and definitely oops in comparison to other cities there's just not a whole lot of people sometimes on the streets I mean I enjoyed that because I thought well this is surprising because I thought there's gonna be people everywhere since it is a major city as well but no I was lucky pretty buildings though also a lot of buildings that need renovating to be honest like more like uh, living space buildings like apartment buildings and stuff like that they definitely sometimes look very abandoned there's a lot of uh, altbau like old style buildings as well but i definitely noticed the need of renovation every now and then so keep that in mind and um, Berlin has a, uh, sorry, not Berlin, Leipzig has a big Gothic scene, the biggest in Germany, I believe, and also one of the biggest Gothic festivals every year. They even um, are super used to this by now, even the older people, everyone. They just know once a year there's going to be people dressed like whatever. Uh, <laughs> they sometimes wear gas masks or like latex horse costumes and, and leashes or uh, Venetian outfits or uh, anything really baroque outfits whatever you can think of just in a gothic style and they have festival uh, stages throughout the city they have bands that play in clubs and stuff like that so that is a big part of Leipzig culture the black culture as they call it the schwarze um, not Kultur but I guess Szene this is the black scene actually made some videos with my friend Mara about the alternative scene in Germany. I can link this for you in the video description if you're interested. If I forget about this, let me know and I'll do my best to uh, well post it in the comment section. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Leipzig has that. Um, when I went there, we went to this absinthe bar that's also like very, well, very goth related, I would say, why they have that in there. Absinthe is like a very popular 
drink among the goth people and I enjoy it myself as well actually it's very nice mixed with water and they have a bar for that I mean they might have multiple ones I've just been to that one bar and they had um, very nice inner city with a shopping district and lots of nice restaurants but you know every city will have this kind of thing uh, like Berlin probably has that and Munich probably has that just in Leipzig I found it to be very prominent this whole theme of goth um, which I enjoyed because I have many friends that are part of that scene and I don't mind at all but maybe if you're super religious or whatever then you might not like that because I know that some people uh, relate gothic style to satanism or satanic behavior which I think is silly because none of the goths that I know actually believe in that kind of stuff or practice anything like that they might incorporate the symbols sometimes in their style but only because they think it looks cool um, and not because they want to hurt anyone or celebrate evil or whatever it's just I mean people who do that they exist I'm 100% sure but they're idiots like who really it's just stupid so yeah most of the people won't and so you don't need to be scared of them and not and, and you also don't need to be scared of moving to Leipzig they're the most friendly and non-aggressive people I've ever met so no worries there so anyway Leipzig Czech great city next up Hamburg Hamburg is a very beautiful city with a maritime vibe. I enjoyed my stays there so far. It might be a bit more expensive, just like Munich. It has at least that, um, that reputation of being a bit more expensive. Personally, I've never lived there, so I can't really say. There might be cheap places all around Hamburg, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, depends on what you expect of your apartment. Again, I'm gonna look for what's it called the average rent cost for all these cities and display that while we're talking about it that's I think the, the best thing to do because I'm not an expert on rent costs in different cities so if you're interested in that well read it off the screen and wow is it pretty here I don't think you can see but on the left there's just like the the valley basically we're on a mountain and you can see down there it's, it's pretty Maybe you'll get the opportunity at some point here in this video. Hope so. And yeah, anyway, uh, Hamburg, Maritime Vibe, has the, the infamous red light district, the Reeperbahn with lots of bars and of course prostitutes as well because prostitution is legal in Germany. That's what Hamburg is known for. I don't think many, um, actually, that's not true. Many Hamburg citizens also visit the Reeperbahn to celebrate and party and stuff like that at least the younger ones I know quite a few people who have done that at least in the past so definitely happens and um, I've been there before as well but not to party just to film basically and I can link all these videos related to the cities we're talking about of course so that you know exactly what we're talking about here um, other than that Hamburg has the fish market which it's famous for as well um, it's basically similar as opposed to any other fish market just that you have to go there very early in the morning or people go there very early in the morning for example they even stay up after partying and go there to eat a fish brötchen like a fish bun a bun uh, like a roll a bread roll with fish on it um, it's very popular um, anti hangover food here and they do that and the fish market I've never been personally but I mean they sell fish there if you are into that if you want to see how that is done maybe with very freshly caught fish then that might be for you it's not really for me like I've been to Tokyo as well they had the fish market there this really popular one famous one I've I haven't been there I don't really mind or care too much if I go there or not so yeah anyway that exists though you could include that in living uh, in Hamburg um, quality of life is very high I would say but the quality of life like people get annoyed if I don't talk about that for specific cities but the quality of life is just very high in general in German cities you won't really find a city unless you go to a village maybe that's shit where you can't do anything where you 
are bored, out of your mind, and where you don't have opportunities. I mean, of course, if you move to a German village, then there won't be any positions for manager, probably, or for uh, engineer, or whatever. I mean, there might be, but they might be very limited. And so quality of life in those places, okay, I agree, might not be fantastic. But that's the big thing here. They are in most places. There's opportunity, plenty of it. Um, we are looking for well, very specialized job people with high qualifications everywhere at the moment in Germany. Uh, people who know what they're doing basically are uh, sought after in the big industries. And if you're one of those people, we will welcome you with open arms and you won't have a hard time finding a job here. So keep that in mind. And that's why I'm not talking about quality of life for every single city. Just assume that it's quite good. If it's bad, I will tell you. So, what were we talking about? Hamburg, yes. <laughs> Hamburg, of course, has parks and um, has, well, clubs. Any German city will have this. It's really all about, that's why I say this so often, what you want out of the city. Um, you might find something very specific, something that's odd to other people, very appealing. And you might say, well, because of this, it's the city for me. Because of this single detail of the city, I want to live here. For example, in Berlin, I would go there because there's just so much that you can do. And there's just everything available all the time other than in other parts of Germany where stuff closes down early or it's just not available in general. So keep that in mind. Find something that you love about a city and move there if you feel like that's your reason why you want to be there and stay there as well. I mean, you might not want to stay in one place for a long period of time. You might want to move after a year again to another city and see what that's like or even a couple of months. What I suggest people do is move around a little bit before they decide or visit different places before you settle um, I guess just like with dating you shouldn't settle for the first thing because then you might be not satisfied with what you get and you might be frustrated and maybe even blame all of Germany because of this one place because it might just not have been for you and it might not just have been what you wanted out of the city so keep that in mind. Anyway, next city would be probably, I don't know, the famous city that many people want to go to all the time is Cologne. Cologne, very pretty city, has one of my favorite buildings, the Cologne Cathedral. Of course, there is this bitter aftertaste because of this incident with refugees on New Year's that uh, happened a couple of years ago. I've been to Cologne since. And I've spoken to people from Cologne that have lived there since and been there since. And I haven't heard a single negative thing. And from my own experience, I haven't experienced anything negative either. To be honest, it is probably different if you're a girl and walk around at night. That is always, the, like, doesn't matter where you are. It's always more dangerous because you're more vulnerable most of the time. Or, I don't know, most guys are just idiots sometimes and can't behave themselves properly and will catcall or whatever. I have never gotten that. I, I don't think girls would catcall guys. I mean, may, very ra may, maybe very rarely. It might happen very rarely. So, I'm not saying that it will never happen, but I don't think it would happen as often. And uh, other than that, Cologne, similar to any other German city, very pretty architecture, very pretty buildings in general. And uh, yeah, it feels a bit re repetitive talking about German cities because all in all, they're all similar. <laughs> it's really up to you to decide where you want to live. Maybe you'd met a nice bunch of people that you wouldn't miss in your life, wouldn't want to miss in your life. And so you say, hey, because of those people, I'm going to live here. And it's all about enjoying life with people, I think. Like, that's why I never really travel all by myself, because I'm too social. I enjoy the company of others and to share these moments in cities or in, in new places with my friends and people that I like. 
So that might happen to you as well. You might not be like 100% sold on the city, but because of the people, you might want to live there and stay there. And that's why I can't really say don't go there, go there or whatever. People ask me all the time, I understand, but there's not just one answer. You will have to decide for yourself. And that is also why I say experience different things, experience different cities. Dusseldorf is, uh, well, Cologne's neighbor city and they both have big carnival celebrations. Cologne even more so, I think, than Dusseldorf, a very big carnival, not country, city. And they also are very open when it comes to same-sex marriage, same-sex relationships, and all things LGBTQ, basically. Very liberal, very open. Similar to Berlin, I would say, in the sense that no one cares how you live your life. You can live your life whatever way you want, as long as you don't harm anyone else or um, force your beliefs on anyone else no one will care so keep that in mind too well then there's of course Frankfurt people ask me about Frankfurt all the time I know people that live there and are very content they enjoy it they like their life there even though some other people say well it's just a bit too businessy there's a lot of skyscrapers there's a lot of people that come to uh, Frankfurt just for their job and leave and don't really live in Frankfurt so if you get to know some people they might not even be able to build a relationship with you because they are just there for the moment but not for the long term uh, I don't think that's the case for everyone there's a lot of people that live there as well obviously it's not only business people but that is a big part of Frankfurt just business skyscrapers and I think it's one of the only German cities that has like a an, an American style skyline where you see the skyscrapers from the distance and stuff like that I've seen the skyline that's all I've seen of Frankfurt so far I've never visited I've seen pictures and it looks like it has a very nice old part of the city as well with pretty buildings and stuff like that in a river um, Frankfurt am Main right so it's the Main River and um, quality of life will just be as good as anywhere else I'm maybe not actually this is I mean I haven't really been there myself so I can't talk but this is a place where I would think maybe because of that business aspect it's not for everyone it might be for people that don't mind um, having these skyscrapers in their city but if you expect like a traditional German city only maybe Frankfurt wouldn't be for you uh, if you talk about the style and the appeal of a city you know because of course some people will come to Germany expecting everything to look like Bavaria and the Oktoberfest and just very traditional and Frankfurt is probably not one of those cities they will have those aspects in their life as well of course but not only that and another city I want to talk about I made a video about this city recently with some random facts that um, I found out about it's uh, the city of Lübeck a very maritime city near Bremen and Hamburg uh, I didn't know much at all before I visited there. It has the Holstein Ga Gate, a very popular uh, landmark in that region. People know about it. And um, yeah, it's one of the prettiest German cities I visited because it has a lot of this um, Altbau. Or is it Altbau? Actually, I don't know if it's Altbau, but it's very... I'll show you pictures. It's very pretty uh, all over the place. I'm pretty sure in the outskirts there are some more bland looking buildings too but it is a medieval style city with like a round wall around it um, not a round wall what's it called like a city wall around it if you look at a map you will see that it is definitely a medieval city it's just the style they used to build cities in um, very round <laughs> with a city wall around it and yeah it's, it's super pretty it has a river as well it really impressed me. I even thought while walking through it, well, I would like to live here. That is very nice. It has everything you need, but it doesn't feel too big. And yeah, it was just very pleasant, you know, and I might live there someday. Who knows if I have a family? Like I would also like to live in the countryside, but I live in the countryside now already. And maybe a little bit more urban would be nice, but still something pretty and visually appealing. That's what I'm thinking. So 
Yeah, who knows? And this might be a city for you as well. Check it out. If you haven't heard about Lübeck before, definitely go there or at least look at pictures and decide for yourself if you want to, if you want to uh, well, visit. And another city like that is Freiburg. I've only been there once, but it really impressed me. It's very, a very hilly city, a lot of uh, forest around it as well. And uh, just in all in all, very appealing, very pleasing uh, to the eye. I suppose and uh, yeah I don't know a lot about the history of uh, Freiburg to be honest but I expect rent to be quite high because it is in the south the south in general seems to be a bit more expensive um, so quality of life will be very good if you can afford it so that's pretty much it for this video I hope this helped you in one way or the other and if you have any questions please uh, ask them in the comments section so if i forgot to talk about something that you really wanted to know about a certain city or if i forgot about a city please don't get frustrated and leave a hate comment but ask the question and we'll try our best to answer it for you the germ fam and me combined so again thank you very much for watching don't forget to get germanized goodbye and auf wiedersehen